Well, if you remember a web application that we made using Visual Basic, this is an offshoot of that application. And what we can do is that we can add a Google Map to our form. So let's go ahead and do this. And what I've done is I've created a new solution or project or uh, what else do you want to call it? Application. Uh, and let me click on uh, this solution here. And I can see that one of the important things is that you always want to know where this is being saved at. And right now, if I click on Path, and you can't see all this, but it says I've got it stored in my Visual Studio 2008 Projects folder. And I've called it VB underscore Google Map. Now, this is a form. And you can see I've made it a little bigger than normal. And in fact, let's go down here and see what we've got the form selected. So I can scroll down here and see the size. 1003 by 661. And let's make this 700. And let's make this and even 1000. Okay. Okay, and what we're going to do is that we need to make our web browser. So I'm going to go to my toolbox. Let me pin this down. And let me go get a web browser. And looking under common controls web browser. Now, when it first pops in here, it doesn't look like it's done anything. In fact, it looks like it didn't work, but if I go over here to the top right-hand side, I'll see a little bitty arrow over here. And I'm going to click on this, and it says, Undock in Parent Container. Well, let me do that, and when I do, it undocks it. So, it was uh, docked for adhering to all four sides of my form. So now that it's undocked or unlocked from uh, the inside of my form, I can really move this around if I wanted to. So I'm going to make this web browser a pretty good size. can actually type in the dimensions of this, but just to show you how big I'm making this. Okay. So you can see I'm using most of the space for my web form for this browser. Now, the other thing I want to do is that I want to go back to my toolbox and I want to add a text box and a button. And so let's go to the text box, drag that on here, and let me make this a little bigger. And I'm a button. Now my button, I want it to say, hmm. Well, what do I want it to say? I want it to say, uh, search. How's that? Okay. Well, that's almost it. Uh, the name of this is text box. It's text box one. I could really rename it. Same with the button. I could rename that too, but I'll leave that the same. Let me put the coding in here. Now, the only thing I'm going to need to code right now is this uh, search button. So let me double click that, and that will bring up 
the coding for this particular button. I didn't rename it, so it's button one. And it says when I click on button one, then I execute whatever code is between private and end of my subroutine. And here's the only coding I want to put in there. I've already got this here. Okay, here we go. Copy this. Plug this in. Okay. And what this coding says is when you click this button, button one, execute this code. And web browser one, web browser one, it's this right here, web browser one, and with web browser one, one of the things that we can do is navigate, and navigate just means go to that particular website. And where do we want to go to? Well, we want to go to Google Maps, which is maps.google.com slash maps question mark q and question mark q is just sending a the information of uh, what's coming out of your text box so whatever text you have in your text box is going to be added to this query to uh, map to google maps and it will bring it up in the web browser well let's see how this works look up a little better okay okay that's it now I should dress this up I can either take out this border for the form or I could change the name of it and I could certainly make this look a lot better but let's go ahead and run this I'm gonna go to debug start debugging and here let's see let's go to And over Kansas six seven six one two. How's that? See if that works. Click put click and then it goes to Andover, Kansas. Okay. And we can scroll in. Okay, that will do it. That's all we have in this one.